I was part of a team of six tech students um, participating in the Tech Global Consultancy. We went to Sydney, Australia to work for a client. It was a um, global pharmaceutical client uh, in their Australia division. And we were asked to help them decide whether or not to launch a drug in the case that it did not receive government reimbursement. Um, it was a three-week project in country and we had to be very efficient with our time down there. My particular responsibility was helping to gather data and also build the model that would help inform our decision for our client. We had actually quite a benefit in that our client was willing to give us an independent market research team with a budget of about $100,000 to get primary data from patients and physicians to help answer this question. The enabling key for this success really was the influence diagram. We needed to make sure we were aligned with our client in terms of understanding the industry, understanding who the key decision makers would be in this scenario. And the influence diagram, which you know we used to think about our model, actually just helped us frame the problem in a, a very succinct way that, that helped us align with the client. So we had both qualitative um, focus groups and a quantitative survey that were sent out. Um, by the end of the day, we had uh, interviewed over 250 patients and over 120 physicians. The initial conversations with our client were actually pretty rigorous, and that was teed up by our understanding of the problem and by the fact that we had um, sketched out what the model would look like without even having any data in it. And we knew that we needed to be very precise about understanding how the model would flow um, ultimately and make sure that we were aligned with that so that the data we were getting would then fit into the model and not be data that we couldn't use. Um, as a result, when we got the data, it really just took me one day to build the model, which is unheard of. Um, I'd spent two years at Boston Consulting Group before Tech building a variety of different models and I'd never had such an easy time um, getting to an answer. Uh, the other, the other um, advantage that the Influence Diagram gave us is that by teeing up the right questions for market research, getting the right data, making sure we'd have enough data points to make the data relevant, um, the base case that we were able to model based on all of this information matched the client's base case for their scenario of government reimbursement. So we were able through our own methodology to come up with an answer that matched what they thought would happen in the real world scenario if the government reimbursed their drug, and from that we had so much credibility with our predictions because we we saw the world in the same in the same way. We needed to make sure we were asking them the right questions that we could feed into a model, that we could quantify, that we could help paint a story that would inform a decision about whether or not the client should go forward. What we were trying to capture um, was physician and patient price sensitivities. Uh, preferences, any sort of biases they may have that the drug wasn't government reimbursed, and a lot of emotional components that could be difficult to quantify um, just from a survey without having other data research uh, collection tools. And so there was a little bit of tweaking that happened. There, the one thing too that, that having done so much groundwork um, really facilitated is that we could really work with the market research team and we basically built and edited and kept pushing on the uh, focus group uh, interview guides and the um, surveys that would go out to make sure that they were asking the right kinds of questions so that we could segment the population in a meaningful way and then that we could, you know, just based on demographics and then also that we could assign behaviors to certain segments or just understand behaviors. Another part of our project was to have a lot of interviews, internal interviews, um, interviews with some KOLs, key opinion leaders. And those conversations um, happened a little bit differently because we knew we wanted to understand the words around maybe what the data would show. We didn't know exactly what the data would show, but we needed to be able to link interviews with numbers so that we would understand if our numbers made sense and also have numbers to back up the sentiments expressed in interviews. So in that way, we really were able to link the two, you know, quantitative and qualitative stories so that when we presented to the client, it was very strong and um, very compelling. When we presented our findings, we presented a lot of data and unfortunately the story was pretty negative for the client. 
and it really helped us that we had good data and a good story. You know, we'd done solid work, and the client was able to understand why we came to the conclusions we did. Um, and we were able to also do scenario analysis. So we presented four different price points that they could potentially enter the market um, with and then showed them what their market sales would be, what their revenue would be, and what their gross margin would be in each of those scenarios and over a 10-year time horizon. So we were able to draw out a few different pictures for them to think about how, um, how the situation could play out. And that helped them also understand, you know, best case scenario, worst case scenario. I'll obviously show that with higher margins, they would probably have a smaller market share, but they may end up with, um, you know, with just as much revenue to them um, as in the other direction. Through this process, I actually gained a lot of confidence in modeling. I think we were being asked a very difficult question to answer with a lot of uncertainty. And normally, I have an engineering background, the, the precise engineer in me would say, no way, we can't figure this out, not in three weeks, not with you know, a limited amount of data, limited resources, and um, obviously some limited knowledge of what the future holds. But because of the modeling process that we went through and how rigorous it was and the sensitivity analysis that we were able to conduct, I felt very comfortable with the answers and the scenarios that we were able to obtain. And so for me, I learned that with a little patience and planning, um, even the toughest questions can, can start to begin to be answered in a way that helps make important business decisions for people.